Hi Cancers! Thank you so much for joining me in this new space on YouTube. Um, if you're coming from my Instagram page, you guys know I used to upload all of my stuff onto Instagram and I've just decided to try something new and see how I like the YouTube space. So if you are from Instagram and you're following me onto here, I just want to personally say thank you very much for doing so. And um, I can't wait to do your readings, Cancer. In the interest of time, I have already pre-shuffled your cards and we are doing a special spread for the month of February. By the way, happy Valentine's Day, happy Black History Month, and um, yeah, I can't wait to get into it. The first four cards are going to be your past energy, again, love focused. The uh, middle section is going to be your present energy, and then the last four are your future cards. Um, as usual, um, not all messages will resonate with you and my readings are timeless. So just take what does resonate with you. And if it doesn't right now, I encourage you to come check back at a later date. Also check your uh, moon and rising signs as well. So we're just going to get into it right now. In the past, it seems that you guys have been dealing with some, uh, a fire sign. <clears throat> I can't, uh, sorry guys. A, Mercury retrograde and B, my throat has really been like, weird all night but some of you have been dealing with a fire sign an aries leo or a sagittarius um and i think since this is a love reading maybe you and this fire sign uh had been dating for quite some time or maybe you guys were fooling around for quite some time and for whatever reason it just never really um got off the ground it never really developed into anything more than you guys just maybe hooking up, talking, um, it never made it to the next level. And I think for some of you, you walked away from the situation because it wasn't really what you were hoping it would be. As you were walking away from the situation with this fire sign, could be a guy, could be a woman, because um, energies are fluid here. Um, I think this person has tried to get you back. I think if you've walked away from this fire sign, they've attempted to try to communicate with you, maybe get some answers as to why you suddenly chose to leave the situation. Um, with the seven of wands upright, notice the wands pointing towards the person in the bubble. It feels as if even though this person has been making many attempts to try to reach out to you, you've kind of just like placed yourself in a protective bubble. So no matter what they say to you, you're really not allowing it to affect you anymore. With the two of swords um, in reverse, you're no longer trapped. You're no longer blinded by this person's games, by their um, somewhat immature ways, by their inability to give you commitment, by their inability to take you seriously or offer something serious and stable to you in love relationships. Um, you're no longer blinded by the fun times that you used to have with this person. Their, their fiery, energetic, passionate um, personality. It's no longer enough for you. And so even though I feel like this person from your past that you have walked away from already and you've said goodbye to, even though they're attempting to come back and be in your present, you're really just, you're done. It's like you can't be bothered. No matter how many times they try to reach you, you really can't be bothered. You're done with it. You see them now for who they truly are. I think this person was very good at painting a picture of what your life together could have been like. Um, I think they breadcrumbed you. I get the sense that they got your hopes up. Um, they made you believe that this was going to end up leading to something. And for whatever reason, there were blocks that were in the way and the two of you could never move forward in your relationship. And now you are finally walking away from that. In the present, um, it feels with the High Priestess upright and the Judgment card upright, it feels as if um, Cancer signs, you guys are feeling like um, everything is finally working out in your highest good and uh, in a way that finally benefits you. I think some of you feel as if you've um, typically gotten the short end of the stick for whatever reason, you guys uh, haven't had it easy in love. You're really starting to pay closer attention to your intuition, to um, the signs that you're noticing, to the words that somebody's saying to you, their actions, 
um, the words that are left unsaid, the feelings that you get when you are around um, another individual. I think for you, it feels like, man, this has been a long time coming. I think you guys have entered into another union with someone that you have a lot of fun with. With the Four of Wands, maybe this used to be a friend of yours, um, a friendship that turned into a love situation. Um, this could be someone that uh, it just feels like lighthearted, um, like a lighthearted, fun loving type of relationship with this new individual, not the person from your past, because the person in your past you're leaving there. And now the person in your present is someone that you feel as if like, yeah, I deserve this. I deserve this good person. I actually deserve to be finally having fun with another individual. Um, I'm not going to give a crap about what anybody else has to say about this. I'm going to pay attention to how this person makes me feel. Um, I'm not going to look at things through rose colored glasses. I'm going to be realistic with myself because it uh, it's time. I'm ready. I'm ready for a more serious commitment. And for some of you, this person has finally shown up and it's making you feel so happy with the Hierophant and the Four of Wands upright. It just feels like this is finally it. Um, for some of you, you are so happy in this situation that even though your past situation with that fire sign continues to come and test you, um, as with uh, the Pisces reading that I just did, a lot of past uh, people, a lot of exes um, are showing up again. You're really just done with it. And I think you're noticing that because you've done so much work on yourself, you're finally uh, reaping what you've sowed, which was um, setting yourself up to accept love from the right person. Um, for some of you, uh, with the Page of Cups in reverse, and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, you're no longer thinking about the past. I think this might, this is not the fire sign energy from the beginning. I think even more so behind that, maybe some of you uh, were in a long-term relationship with someone um, and you thought that you were going to marry them. I don't feel like it's the fire sign from the uh, first uh, row. Um, I think this might have been like possibly your first love for some of you with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse This could be someone that you have a child with someone that you were maybe married to at one point that maybe you're separating now and um, Yeah, you're just with the six of um, Cups in reversed coupled with the ten of cups. You're no longer reminiscing about your past marriage You're no longer reminiscing about your past relationship with someone that you maybe had a child with um you're just, you're done. You're finally ready to let that part go as well. I think in an effort to forget about how something that seemed like it would be a family situation, when this thing fell through and didn't work out for you, um, I really feel like it totally broke your heart. It wasn't something that you wanted. You really thought this was gonna be it. And so to move on from that situation, uh, you dated around, met a fire sign who just could not commit to you and you put up with it for a long period of time and you finally walked away and now you are dating someone who um, is fun and makes you feel happy and someone who treats you the way that you deserve to be treated. But this person from your past past, this was like way back when, um, this person was really cold to you with the Emperor card in reverse and the Six of Cups in reverse and the Ten of Cups in reverse. This person turned cold. Um, if it was a guy, he became an asshole. If it was a woman, she became a bitch. Like something happened with this family dynamic that just really wasn't it. Um, and it's made it really hard for you to trust uh, when new people come and present themselves in a love situation. Um, and I think in the in your future energy, you're finally going to see how this was all preparing you as sad as it was, this is actually, uh, this has all been preparing you to be able to offer your ace of cups, your cup of love to the right person. I feel like some of you left a really, really toxic, messed up relationship, only to end up in something that wasn't as toxic but in its own way, still not good enough. And since you've gone through both of these relationships, um, 
you've really gotten clear with yourself about what you deserve with the judgment card upright. And you're okay with it. You're finally okay to say out loud and to claim and declare what your worth is. And because you've created space in your life by cutting your past people out, um, the universe has rewarded you with a partner that you really like. And you're, you're ready to start from the beginning. You're ready to start a committed relationship with this person. Um, and this month of February, I really feel like you are going to be taking a step forward in your new situation with this person. You also have the Queen of Cups as your grounding energy followed by the Wheel card. This was all happening to you for a reason. Um, you're channeling your uh, nurturing, loving um, qualities as a Cancer, as a water sign. Um, you're finally uh, removing the crab shell and revealing your heart to this person. Um, and I'm really so happy for you guys because it does feel like it's been a long time coming. You've learned whatever lessons you were supposed to learn from your past. You're now starting to pay more attention to what it is you truly desire. You're okay with what you desire, which is even the most beautiful thing out of this whole reading is that you know your worth now and you're not going to put up with anything less than what you know you're worth. And so this month of February, I really see for you guys that you're going to be diving in, taking a step in the right direction with your current partner. You guys are going to be coming together and you are going to claim your feelings for this person and finally vocalize to this individual that you are ready to take a step forward. All right, what a juicy February, guys. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Cancers. Um, I have a lot of Cancer friends and men. You guys deserve this. You deserve the relationship that you have now. If you guys are not exclusive yet, maybe you're still in the dating stages and you guys are just, you know, having fun, testing things out. Enjoy it. Enjoy it because this beginning stage of a relationship doesn't happen all the time. And you guys, um, you've been through enough. You've been through enough hard times. So I hope this resonates with you all. Thank you so, so much for joining me on this new journey of mine as well here on YouTube. Um, if you haven't already, please make sure you like the video, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell so you can be part of the TMA family. Um, I'm also on Instagram. If you are from YouTube and you've never checked out my Instagram page, my handle is at the.mindfulawakening. Um, and I do daily card polls um, over on Instagram, so you should definitely head over there and check it out as well. All right, I will see you guys in another video. And until next time, happy February. See you later. Bye.